Well, here in San Francisco, many spent the day remembering those killed and injured in that shooting. Crown Force Amanda Harry is live in the Castro District tonight, where a vigil was held in honor of those victims. Amanda. The shooting at Club Q was on the eve of Transgender Remembrance Day, and some members of the LGBTQ plus community tell me that this shows just how prominent this violence is in their community. It is enough already, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Isn't it? Hundreds of people gathered at the Harvey Milk Plaza to remember another horrific event within the LGBTQ plus community, a shooting that killed at least five people at Club Q in Colorado Springs late Saturday night. I'm also angry. I'm angry that after all these years, after all these years, our community is still not safe. State Senator Scott Weiner spoke at the event. He says the political climate is influencing this type of hate. Roads have consequences, and political rhetoric from the highest levels of the United States government, it has consequences, and eventually someone is going to act. This was not an isolated attack. We know that in this country, the toxic rhetoric demonizing LGBTQ people has only gotten worse and worse over time. Maceo person and Diara Reed attended the vigil. They say it's important to have as many people as possible at this type of event. I'm African American, I'm transgender, and I'm also a woman. If you know someone like us, then we're no longer other or human beings, and that's our problem. We haven't been able to show the world that we're actually human. Reed says the community and lawmakers have to do everything they can to make sure this type of tragedy doesn't happen again. It's about time that we start having those difficult conversations and making a, cha a real change. Democracy is not stable. You have to work with it all the time to create what's gonna be there. If you assume it's gonna be there, someone's going to take it away. The lieutenant governor was also at the vigil. She says she wants to do everything she can to protect the LGBTQ plus community, and that includes keeping guns out of the hands of people that shouldn't have them. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Harry, Cron4 News. Amanda, thank you.